Jordan Confer has been doing dog shows for more than 10 years. And just looking at his trained walker coonhound named Lenny, you'd never think he was a rescued from an unhappy hunter that was abusing the dog for not wanting to hunt. Hunter contacted the co-breeder and said, you know, this dog is not hunting. Basically, you can buy him back or else he's going to the pound tomorrow. Confer says that when the breeder got the train walker back, he wasn't in good shape. Back, he was in horrible condition. He was abused, <laughs> emaciated when we got him, and it's been a long process to get him to where he is today. The Yuma American Kennel Club sees more than 1,000 to 1,500 dogs daily that are being judged to find the best dog of their breed. Anna Muslik, who's a dog show enthusiast, says dog shows are not just about winning. They're also about bonding with their dogs. Enjoy the purebred dog and enjoy the sport of purebred dogs. And we're really all here to benefit the breed, hopefully, um, and enjoy our dogs and enjoy the time with our dogs. Ms. Lewick says there is also a misconception with having a show dog versus a shelter dog. I need to understand when they when they look at a purebred dog versus a shelter dog or a mixed breed dog that there are umpteen numbers and unexplainable numbers of hours of blood, sweat, and tears that go into these purebred dogs and that these breeders have put hundreds of thousands of dollars into producing these animals and putting and doing taking their best effort to make sure that they're healthy and adapted well and going to be happy and healthy animals and that that's the reason that we do this. Reporting from the All Breed Dog Show at the Yuma Fairgrounds, I'm Phoenix O'Connor.